keeping in touch with your friends and family is one of the main reasons that uh, you carry a phone in the first place. Android's nice because it gives you many, many different ways of communicating. Not only can you text, call, uh, use instant messaging programs, but you've also got access to your personal and business email. Today we're going to be looking at how to set up a Yahoo email account. When you get your phone, you have to register a Gmail account if you don't have one already, but you don't have to use that as your primary account. If you use Yahoo, uh, this will show you how to set that up on your phone so you can use it as your primary account. So what you'll need to do first is download the Yahoo Mail application, which you get from the market. And when you launch the market, you'll first start out on the home page. looks like this. Tap on the magnifying glass in the upper right hand corner and then do a search for Yahoo Mail. You can also just type in Yahoo. If you type in Yahoo Mail, it's actually the first result that comes up in your search, Yahoo Mail for Android. Go ahead and click on that. And then down at the bottom, now I've already got the program installed, but if you don't already, where it says open here, it will actually say install. Go ahead and click the install button to get the application downloaded to your phone and that will start the process. We're going to assume that uh, moving forward you've got this much completed, you've got the app downloaded to your phone, in which case you're going to go ahead and open the Yahoo Mail app. You'll find that in your app drawer, so from your home screen you'll open your app drawer and it's just simply called Mail. There will be a blue icon with a white envelope and uh, the Yahoo logo also in white. So you'll go ahead and launch that to get into the Yahoo app. This will be the first page that pops up. It's going to prompt you for your login, user ID, and your password. This is the same information you use to log into your Yahoo Mail account on the computer, nothing different. For your username, you don't need to enter in the at yahoo.com portion of your email address. Just the first part is fine. Then your password. Once you've got these two pieces of information entered, go ahead and click the sign in button. Your phone will take just a second to sync up with Yahoo servers, verify your information, and then set up your mailbox. This is what I refer to as the main page of Yahoo, of the Yahoo Mail app anyway. Um, this is where you fully interact with your uh, Yahoo Mail account. So as you can see at the top, you've got your inbox. Just tap to open that. It'll also check for new messages and I don't have any in this folder because I don't use Yahoo Mail. So there's nothing to see there. You'll have drafts that you started typing and just saved. You'll have a place to see sent messages, spam folder, and your trash after you delete a message. And then you'll have your smart folders just like on the computer when you access your Yahoo Mail um, where it'll categorize messages into these smart folders. So that's the basic operation. Uh, a few other things that you'll be doing with the phone or with the application will be composing new messages. You want to send out an email. So to do that, you just press the menu button on your phone. This box will show up and you'll use the compose option here. And just like on the computer, pretty self-explanatory, you'll select who you're going to send the message to, type their name or their email address, the subject of your message, and then tap down here in the lower box to start typing your, your message. Uh, you can attach things to the email which is a nice new feature. And then once you've composed your message, you've added any attachments that you like to, uh, hit the yellow send button to go ahead and, and fire off the message. We're not going to actually do that. Um, then in the way of replying to a message, I think, let's see if I have a mess, any kind of message in here that we can show you how to reply to. Okay, here's the, just a standard Yahoo welcome message. So when you open a message, be it from the inbox, be it from one of your personal folders, anywhere, uh, this is what it'll look like. This is a message window. So you can scroll through the message, read the email, pictures that are embedded will show up automatically. There's the text of your, of your email. Um, you can zoom in, zoom in to make the text larger, and you can also scroll around and then zoom back out. Don't want to do that. <laughs> Any links that are in the uh, email, you can just hit, click on them to open a link in your web browser. Uh, 
And then, like we were discussing, to reply to a message, just press the menu button and click reply. And this is just exactly the same type of setup as composing a new message, except it's going to pre-fill for you who the message goes to and the subject. It's a reply to the original. Type your message, hit send. Another thing that uh, you might want to set up on your phone would be the ability to have a signature attached to the end of each of your outgoing messages. That's relatively easy to do. From the main screen here, just press the menu button and choose options this time. You may have to scroll down. It should appear towards the bottom though. You'll have a, a spot to configure your signature. It defaults to saying sent from Yahoo Mail on Android. If you'd like to change that, just click here. It'll open up a text box that you can choose what you want to change your signature to. And then the option above that, Use Signature, will make sure that it uses that signature on all outgoing messages, not only new messages that you type, but also in your replies. The Options menu will also allow you to set up notifications for when you get new messages, the sounds that come with those, and then also the message preview, which shows up in your inbox or the specific folder that it's in. Also from the menu button, you can launch Yahoo Messenger if you have that installed on your phone. I don't, so I'll show you what it looks like if you don't. It's not currently installed. Would you like to do that now? Yes or no. Also on the menu, you have the ability to search your entire Yahoo Mail inbox. Click the search button. Enter in the search terms that you wish to search by and any filters. If you want to search the entire message of an email or who it's from or who it went to, or the subject line. And you can also select the type of message to search for. Do you want to search emails, photos, or attachments? So a lot of extra functionality there, which is nice. The, the Yahoo Mail app really is fairly robust. It gives you a lot of options in uh, interacting with your email. Finally, if you want to check for new messages, you press the menu button and uh, just simply click Refresh. You'll see down here that it says Checking for Mail check to see if you got anything new. If it does, find something. If you do have new messages, it'll show up in your inbox um, with an unread message count over here on the right. Just click on your inbox to go to it, read your new messages. You can also press the back button to go back. So that's a quick overview of the Yahoo Mail app. You can uh, get this for free in the Android market. And uh, for easy access, you can pull it out of your app drawer, your launcher here, just by holding down and then dragging that application to where you want it on your home screen. Set it up on any different home screen that you like. And when you go back into it, it automatically remembers your username and password that you entered before, so it just takes you right to this, this main screen. If you have any questions, feel free to post them up in the comments. Uh, that's going to do it for today. This is Mike with ICT Droids. Hope you all have a good one.